Okay, in this video I'll show you how you can calculate the bias of a transistor and then I'll show you the actual circuit after I'm done showing you the math here. So the first thing you want to do is calculate the current running through R1 and R2. So you add R1 and R2 together and that is equal to 39.8 kilo ohms and you take that value and divide VCC which is 12 volts and you get the current through those resistors and that current is 302 microamps and then you take that current and multiply it by the resistance to find the voltage across R2 so the voltage across R2 is equal to the resistance times the current and the final result is 2.05 volts now you take that voltage and you subtract 0.7 volts because that's the voltage drop across the base and the emitter of the transistor. So your answer there is 1.35 volts. And now that you have that voltage, you can calculate the current through RE, which is the resistor at the emitter of the transistor. So 1.35 divided by 470 ohms is equal to 2.87 milliamps. And the current running through RE is approximately the same as the current running through RC. So just assume that they're equal. So use that current to find the voltage through RC. 2 kilo ohms times 2.87 milliamps is equal to 5.5 volts. Now that you have the voltage across RE and the voltage across RC, you can calculate the voltage across the collector in the emitter of the transistor. So all you do is you take 12 and you subtract the voltage here and the voltage here. And the voltage across the collector emitter junction is equal to 4.9 volts. So the transistor is biased between saturation and cutoff. If it was in cutoff, the voltage would be 12 volts, and if it were in saturation, it would be 0 volts. So that's how you can calculate the bias of a transistor. Now I'm going to show you the actual circuit. Okay, so here's the actual circuit. And the first thing I'm going to measure is VCC, which should be around 12 volts. pretty close. Okay, now I'm going to measure the voltage across R2, which I calculated out to be around 2 volts. And just under 2 volts there at R2. Now I'm going to calculate the volt or measure the voltage across RE, which I calculated out to be 1.35 volts. So quite close. Now I'm going to measure the voltage across RC, which I calculated out to be 5.75 volts. A little under, but quite close. Now I'm going to measure the voltage across the collector emitter junction of the transistor, which I calculated out to be 4.9 volts. and we're right at 5 volts there so very close so the calculations do work pretty well thanks for watching